Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another Vlogmas Christmas video. And this one is exciting because we've got a delicious recipe for you. This is a fantastic recipe. We're going to be making a beautifully spiced and aromatic roasted cauliflower soup. Now this is an absolutely delicious, delicious recipe and this video is in partnership with Sensodyne. Now Sensodyne are a brilliant brand for anyone out there who does suffer or has sensitive teeth. Now this recipe has two sugars in there that classically people with sensitive teeth would maybe struggle with. So we've got a hot soup, it's a hot soup and it's a spice soup as well, so they're two triggers. Now this recipe is absolutely perfect for all occasions as a starter for your Christmas big day. It's wonderful as a winter warmer if you want to make it before you go out on a walk or you can have it to come back to. It's absolutely delicious, so easy to make relatively straightforward in terms of ingredients as well, very easy to get a hold of. And using the Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum Dual Action Toothpaste is great to help combat those triggers that would make something like this a little bit difficult to eat and enjoy if you do have sensitive teeth. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the list of ingredients. You can also click the link down below as well to have a whole host of wonderful recipes from Sensodyne and also I've linked some of my wonderful recipes as well. You can try this festive season, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to make this delicious soup, you're going to need some olive oil. You're also going to need some wonderful spices, turmeric, cumin, and coriander. You're going to need four medium to large sized carrots, a head of cauliflower. You're also going to need some coconut milk, some pumpkin seeds, some curry paste, three garlic cloves, a good chunk of ginger, a white onion, some vegetable stock, some crusty bread, and also some raisins. So you first want to start off by preheating your oven to roughly 200 degrees fan. Then grab a baking tray and just remove the green parts, the outer leaves essentially of your cauliflower. Set them aside because you're going to need them later on. And then just cut the cauliflower up into nice, good, I'd say like around two to three centimeter chunks. Just keeping it nice and chunky for roasting. So once that's all done, you want to drizzle it with some lovely olive oil and season it with some salt and some pepper. And then once all that is coated, you want to pop that into your oven to roast for around 30 minutes until it's soft and starts to go nice and golden brown on the edges. Okay, so now you want to make a start on prepping your vegetables. You want to slice up one medium to large size white onion. You can use red if you've got that as well, it's absolutely fine. Just making sure it's nice and evenly cut up. And then you want to peel your carrots and chop them up into roughly the same size chunks as your white onion. So I just top and tail them, cut them in half and then half again, and then just roughly clunk them up. It doesn't have to be too precise because everything's going to get blended, so that's perfect. And then in a large, heavy bottom saucepan, I'm using my cast iron saucepan here. You want to add in your onions and your carrots and just soften them down over a medium heat for around 10 minutes until they go nice and soft and translucent with the onions. Meanwhile, you want to prep your ginger, so take I'd say about a 2 to 3 centimeter chunk of ginger, peel it and then just roughly chop that up. Again, it doesn't have to be too perfect, don't worry about that. Then you want to do the same with your garlic, so I just use the back end of a blade just to get rid of the skins, top and till the garlic and then roughly chop that up as well. So now that your onions have gone nice and translucent and your carrots have started to soften, add in your garlic and ginger and just give that a nice stir, just making sure that you're constantly stirring it because you don't want the garlic to burn because that is not a good taste. Now it's time to add in your spices. So we've got your cumin, your ground coriander and your turmeric and just give that a nice stir and then add in your curry paste. We're using two tablespoons of medium curry paste but use whichever one you prefer. If you like it really spicy, you can use a nice hot one. So make sure that's all caught in the nice, wonderful carrots, onions, garlic, and ginger. And then it's time to add in your stock. We're using one liter of hot vegetable stock here. And just make sure that is beautifully stirred together. You wanna to leave that to simmer for around 10 minutes. And by this time, your cauliflower should be nice and golden brown and lovely and nice and gnarly at the edges. That's perfect. 
So you can add that into your soup mixture, reserving some of it as a garnish so we can leave that for the very end. Give that a stir. Reduce your heat down to, I'd say quite a low heat, and just leave that to simmer for about five minutes. In the meantime, you can grab your green outer parts of your cauliflower, drizzle them in olive oil and pop them into the oven for around 10 minutes. And then you also wanna plump up your raisins so you can just cover them with a bit of recently boiled water and leave them to do their thing. Now you can use a stick blender or you can use a liquidizer, whichever you have, a food processor, anything. You can keep it chunky if you'd like, but I love a really golden, beautifully smooth soup. So I blended mine until it was completely smooth. And then I added in a whole can of coconut milk. I used a reduced fat coconut milk just because I prefer the taste, but you can use whichever you'd prefer. Give that a nice stir and look how golden and velvety smooth that is. Absolutely delicious. Now you can give it a taste at this point, guys. Just check it for any seasonings, if it needs any salt, pepper. Mine needed quite a bit of pepper, so I ground in some fresh black pepper. And then I just stirred all that together. And then it was just time to check the outer parts of the cauliflower and they've gone nice and crispy as well and then as simple as just serving it up look how beautifully smooth this is it's wonderfully spiced so aromatic i just topped it with some pumpkin seeds you can toss these if you like but i just like them as they are i finished it off with some of the roasted cauliflower that we saved from earlier and the roasted outer green parts too some of the wonderful plumped up raisins and then finished it off with just a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil just to make it look extra fancy and that is your beautifully spiced aromatic cauliflower soup. Okay, so that is it guys. That is the soup. We're gonna go for a taste test on camera. Oh my God. That is a pure delight. It's, mm, oh my goodness. It's, it's a little bit spicy. It's beautifully aromatic. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's warm, and it's essentially like a hug in a bowl. <laughs> and obviously I do suffer from sensitive teeth, and using Sensodyne has been a partnership over the past few months, I have noticed a real difference. It's the UK's number one dentist recommended toothpaste for a reason. I don't get any of the sensitivity triggers like I used to, especially with consuming something hot on a cold day like it is today. This is an absolute must. Mm. If you do make this recipe, leave a comment down below how you found it. Tag me on Instagram as well if you'd like to, I'll leave my handle on the screen. Also do click subscribe if you would like to see more festive videos and give the video a thumbs up as well. There's going to be a whole host of Christmas content coming, so yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to Sensodyne as well for partnering on this video. This is delicious. I'm going to enjoy this off camera now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.